just a tiny little update here. Everything is working wonderfully. It's hard to get that to zoom in, but that's how that looks. The system has been working really good for me. I got about 5,000 120 watt hours at 24 volts right below this counter right here which I've got screwed shut <laughs> lithium iron phosphate's the way to go so we're just gonna walk out here and show you currently how I've got the solar panels ran okay outside now That's how I've got my current system up. We're probably going to be moving, so this is all temporary. But it is working great. I'm at full charge. It's not even 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, yeah, the conditions are bleak. But this thing produces some serious power. Even though it doesn't look that big, it does a really good job for my needs. So there we go with that, and I'm going to walk around to the backyard here and do a little antenna update. So I've been making a lot of contacts on this. As you can tell, my ladder's still up there, but these are the Joe Gun 3 Stars. Definitely a good antenna. Uh, you can see it's really not that high off the ground. But man, that thing talks. So if you hear me talking to you over in Europe and you're watching the video, that's typically what I'm on when I'm talking to you. But today, you can't even see it. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, there's the bottom of it. There's my Amtron 99. All the way in the top of that tree. So that's about that. So yeah, it, boy, these three stars work good. I will be back momentarily. And this is another project for later. This is a set of Moonraker Avanti four elements. Oh yeah, completely intact gonna be putting these together soon hopefully and trying these out definitely want to see how these work I think I've got a missing plate though but I'm gonna get by yeah it's missing a plate right here but I think it you can still get those just gonna doctor this up a little bit and and see how she does but other than that yeah that's about it Solar in this area is really bad during the winter, but we've been fortunate and it's been producing quite a bit of power, so it's keeping the electric bill low and keeping the batteries built up for when we lose power. It's been working great. I have really have no quarrels with these panels right here. So uh it's like I said, you know, get into it. Give it your best shot. I mean, there's not really much you can mess up uh, if you just follow the instructions and give it your all. You could do something like this very, very easily. Uh, this stuff right here is it was pretty hairy at first learning it, but if you do a little bit of research before you put in solar off-grid or a backup system, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, but it's very worth it. And... Uh, yeah, that, that beam up there, yeah, that, that thing right there, that, that was harder to do, uh, to be quite frank, because you have to go all the way up to the top on that ladder to do any tuning. Got to drop the antenna down, tune it, put it up. You're supposed to tune those on the ground, but the way the lay of the land is here, they really stink. But, yeah, that, that was a beast compared to putting this in. 
Yeah, I do solar all day long. <laughs> well, guys, there you go. Hope to hear you on the radio if you're a radio enthusiast like I am. 73s, and have a good day.